this is Victoria and I'm here with your daily energy check. This is going to be a quick classic check-in. We're going to take a look at what's happening with Divine Feminines, Divine Masculines and the connection at this time. Let's dive right into the reading. As always, I'm starting with an Oracle deck and we'll pull a card for DF and for DM just to see what's the vibe, what's the buzz as I'm doing this reading and then we'll switch to tarot. At the end, I'll post the messages between the twins. Hope you guys are enjoying your weekend. Now I can finally say it's a weekend for everyone. For me, it's the kind of the middle of my weekend, of my four day weekend. Um, but yeah, I'm still doing reading, so I guess kinda. But it's been great, especially with putting up the decorations and even with the holiday shopping. I mean, it can be stressful only if you make it stressful for yourself. Although I must admit, even with what I was saying yesterday that, you know, I don't like this year, I'm definitely not going crazy. I don't buy like, you know, more of an extravagant stuff that I don't need. It's more about being practical, pragmatic and more than anything, preparing for the upcoming trip and making use of the deals to get what I need for it. So, but but still, like there is a lot right like for example part of my like on my list i have uh travel bookings that i need to make for specific travels that i already know that i will have or uh, while i'm in hawaii right and it's like yeah yeah i need to do this i need to do that i need to check this i need to double check that it's still it can be exhausting so try to pace yourself and you know have fun with it I'm really excited about the new airpods i'm getting though had my previous um, headphones for four years and they're pretty much dead at this time. So Divine Feminines, you have the narrow pathway, tread thoughtfully. Yeah, so yeah, like I was saying, you know, pace yourself, do not rush, do not think that you need to conquer the world in one day, right? Whatever you're being guided to do, do that. Uh, and the same goes with change, with inner work, like I feel like sometimes in our community, there is a lot of pressure around it. Like, you know, okay, come, especially during this time of year, I feel, you know, like it's time to get on with your mission. The world needs you, like stop being selfish or stop like focusing on your DM all the time. Like, this is what you gotta do. It's time, it's time. And it's like, it, it creates a lot of anxiety, unnecessary anxiety. And I'm not saying just sit there and pretend that it's not about you or you don't really need to do anything because that's not true either. But it's not like, like at least ask for guidance, right? Express the readiness. Um, start looking out for some pointers or some information for some people who can help you. Do not drive yourself crazy that you are not in mission yet, but you know, the X, Y, Z people are pushing you into it, right? Like this is like, you'll be shown the path. And if you're, even if you're doing like one baby step a day, do that, improve that. Like, um, I actually heard one reader say once that a good practice, a good rule of thumb is to every day you can do one step to bring something good in, right? Like to improve, to enhance, to learn something new. And you can do one thing where you release something that you don't need or you clean something off or like whatever, right? Like it can be about anything. It can be even about mindset, about... Um, dealing with certain thoughts or like forgiving somebody or whatever like right removing the negativity you do one thing to bring in positivity one thing to remove negativity and it can be a small thing and that's plenty that's like a brilliant day and even more than that it's important to stay in high vibe energy that's the easiest way to attract uh something from divine guidance something from you know the abundance of the universe for the masculines, we have impasse. Reflect and redirect your energy. So it seems like, it seems like for both of the twins, it's kind of a pause where it's time to sharpen the saw, to maybe rethink your steps, like and your approach, and then take the next step carefully. What's the energy of divine feminines right now? Okay, we got three of wands. Yep, intention set in time. I like all these orangey colors, like all of these cards, and you can see it on my table. 
what's the energy of divine masculine at this time the sun yay the happiest card in the deck what's the energy of the connection we have nine of wands and three of cups in reverse removing fear and removing the belief that you're not good enough the fear of rejection there we go the fear of rejection wow let's pull some clarifiers actually very quickly this okay <laughs> ten of cups queen of wands look at that that's what's coming in that's the that's what that intention setting is for it's beautiful let's clarify the sun for the masculines and i like that in this sun card we have children so it's that childlike joy it's also um connected with inner child i'm getting like in a good way you know like especially since now we are a lot more in that like at least where i am <laughs> in the western um, cultures we are more in that christmas spirit even in europe there are christmas fairs you know like decorations are everywhere so uh you get more into that childlike wonder um mood and vibe you know what i mean like that fairy tales are all around you know everything's so beautiful and you're like oh, you're like oh, you're looking at all of that with childlike wonder and look at that the lovers let's clarify nine of wands and three of cups in reverse what do we need to know about that two of cups look at that it's all the love cards today wow amazing six of wands in the bottom of the deck yes victory coming in what do, what do we have here the tower <sighs> yeah so it may come um unexpectedly right so that's that's the general vibe i'm getting that right now the twins may not be seeing what's around the corner and it can be something really really good like what we see here looks very good but it's kind of like there is a shorter cycle, but it still needs to be played out, like a karmic cycle, before all that goodness can come in. Because it's necessary to remove what's you know what's not needed during the cycle, or to learn something new, because you'll need that information for when that goodness comes in, right? Like that sequence is actually pretty important. If you get the goodness now, you may lose it quickly if you're not energetically ready for it, right? And so for the feminines, we see that the intention is supposed to be set towards something that will bring, and we spoke about emotional fulfillment yesterday, actually, right? And this is the classic deck. So this again brings us back to like family, to your significant other, maybe to kids, like it's within the family, but it's actually bigger than that. It depends. And you may not even have a family per se around you, but whatever people are like in your close proximity they are this kind of you know in the pandemic we get the idea of a bubble they are in your whoever is in your bubble they impact you directly and either you're supposed to get into a very uh harmonious and like balanced um state with them where your relationship is balanced where it's com like comfortable in a good way right like where it's enjoyable adds value some sort of value to your life either that or they have to go right like it sound it can sound pretty rough but that's the truth only that is how you can reach that emotional fulfillment if you have somebody draining you even if like legit the person is going through something they are going to be draining you whether you like it or not right so it's either you can help them get balanced you know give them some tools share some support but kind of still stay distanced right if we take the pandemic example in the bubble that person like you know sometimes people in our bubble get sick right and we don't just throw those people out of our lives obviously but then you need to use precautions right not to get sick yourself it's like that Right. So if that person is in your bubble and you understand you're taking a conscious decision to keep them there, even if they're in a negative space, maybe for some very objective reasons, at least you need to keep your um, healthy boundaries and to keep your energetic bubble around you, bubble of protection so that you don't get sucked into that. And of course, this is the part where you use your intuition and you use them. This is the divine feminine card, right, where you're supposed to use that inner 
guidance to understand like this they said like this intricate energies of how do you make um how do you bring the desired outcome into your life without getting hung up too much in the expectations but focusing more towards uh, going to your like towards your passion right taking the step in the direction at least even if you don't have every step planned out for the masculines we have the sun and the lovers so um yeah for the masculines is the card i was i started saying that this is the time to connect with the inner child to remember some good times uh if we're talking about family it's remembering some fun times with parents with siblings even with friends with child childhood friends you know those friendships that we cherish and remember with a smile with a warm heart and um it kind of intuitively guides divine masculine towards the connection towards this twin flame connection and yeah if some of you may actually think that this is that these are the twin flames maybe i don't really get that vibe but it's kind of it's this connection the energetic connection where once they get into that warmth of heart um energy when they're remembering the warm memories of the childhood that gets them it's like a portal that gets them into the connection space right because their heart chakra opens up and then they can feel the love they can feel the bond and they they have an intention again they have the motivation to move forward right they're being stopped for a moment right now that's what we saw in nymphas card so that they can revive that feeling they can this is like their compass their inner compass so that they can keep going and you see if you remember the classic lovers card the compass for divine masculine is their divine feminine a lot of times like in the 3d space right especially until the divine masculine establishes that strong channel themselves right a lot of what they um the lessons they learn the learn like the information that they get the amount of their heart opening like is directly connected to what's going on in with df so and that's why we can see here that they're looking at the feminine right at the feminine in its in their divine state connected to the angels to the divine and that's when that harmony is created that's when and you see the sun here again that's when the sun is shining that's when the hearts are open and the healing and the ascension are happening for the connection space like i was saying it's the it's getting rid of the fear of rejection and focusing on the uh, energetic closeness the soul connection if you wish right so this is like um the twins are not focusing on the on like what's going on on the surface in the present moment are they together are they spending the holidays together uh is there any disagreement or i don't know they're missing each other right like it doesn't seem like it's right but the understanding is that they're, they're still together even if they're apart in 3d uh it doesn't mean that there is no love they feel the love on the soul level on the energetic level and again that's what is helping the healing and helping to get rid of the fear of rejection i.e if i see my twin flame with someone else i don't feel like they're choosing them instead of me right like i understand that certain karmic situations are being played out that's an important part of that person's path right but this love is so strong that those things they don't really they they aren't the the verdict really right let me get to the messages and i'm gonna finish here this was supposed to be a shorter reading. Well, actually, it will be. <laughs> Messages from DMs to DFs. I'm open to compromise. And that's where that's where the compromises are being created. Where there is nothing about listen to your heart. Yeah, I, I already talked about the heart and opening the heart enough. So this is just a confirmation right this is when compromises become easy when we open the heart when we listen to our heart 
then there is nothing to argue about. There is nothing to kind of try to compete about. Like, no, we're going to do it this way. No, it's important to do it that way. The compromises will just come in naturally then. And the masculines understand that. And it's actually, the irony is, it's very important for them as a knowledge in their life in general, not just with the divine feminine, but in whoever else they're dealing with. This is how they start exploring their other close relationship where they they think that those are important and there is love there. And then when they kind of look at it from this perspective, like how easy is it to agree about something? You know, they start kind of this new level of assessment. Like, why is it so hard to agree? Why do I always have to just go with whatever that person wants? Right? Like that's a, that obviously it's a people pleasing pattern, but a lot of DMs do not have that vocabulary. They don't think about it that way. For a lot of us, unfortunately, we think that that's what a good relationship is, right? That you give in. If you don't really mind, like, why not? Yeah, whatever. We can do that. Why not? Right? But here you start to think, but I want something else. And how come the, the, the compromise is always me just going with whatever that person wants? From the feminines to masculines. And then you can guess the rest of the story. <laughs> Will you choose me? I just want space and if i ask you to stay would you leave yeah you see so there is this this is the continuation of the topic of fear of rejection where the, the like there is still some of that fear right there is still some of that contemplation right like if we had this like if if for example we were both single and uh, you know we like there were no physical barriers will you choose me right if I ask you to stay, would you leave, right? There are these questions, but Divine Feminine understands that this is something that they need to work on. Like there is that, like I was saying, that shorter cycle of healing and they're taking space. So this is really the, this is the right way to approach it where we don't confront the other person who's like, you know, trying to beat it out of them. The confession that they actually have feelings that this is important but rather focusing on herself, understanding why this is coming up and what can I do to heal it and to show myself that love. Okay, I hope this was useful, guys. Thank you so much for being with me. I love you all and I'll be back with more readings very, very soon. Bye, everyone.